Coming up, learn what Weber State employee was recently arrested. Plus, hear why students are frustrated with their parking experience. And find out what the results of the student executive elections are. Welcome to Weber State News. I'm Kaylee Connors. And I'm Andrea Peterson. A Weber State employee has been charged with theft. Vicki Ann Anderson, who worked at the information desk in the Shepherd Union building, admitted to stealing between six and seven hundred dollars. If convicted, she could face a twenty-five hundred dollar fine as well as up to a year in jail. The information desk deals with ticket sales to Weber State events, ed passes, and wildcat cards. Anderson was booked into the Weber County Jail Tuesday morning, only to be released later that day on a ten thousand dollar bond. She is on unpaid administrative leave while the investigation continues. Elections were held last week for student executive positions. Records were broken with last week's, last week's voting. 2,356 students voted. That was the highest number of students in almost 10 years. 23 candidates ran for eight offices. And the winners are the Davis Campus Vice President is Alexis Marquez. The Leadership Vice President is Mandy Barnes. The club and organization vice president is Abe Sacido. The service vice president is Julia Saxton. The diversity and unity president is Mindy Chamberlain. The programming vice president is Michael Diamond. The legislative vice president is Brady Harris. And last but not least. The moment we've all been waiting for, who is your El Presidente? Scream out who you want it to be. <laughs> All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. Andrew Gardner. Say a little something. You're welcome. Hey, guys, thank you so much. This has been the most amazing week. I just want to thank all the candidates who didn't. I say, say something. <laughs> She's happy for me, I think. I'm so excited to work with the faculty and students and represent you next year. Thank you so much, and let's look forward to a bright year. Student Senate elections were held this week, where students ran for 20 student senator positions. The results of the elections will be announced today at noon in the atrium. Parking at Weber is not always easy. Morgan Breeze Master found some frustrated students. Have you ever had trouble parking on campus? I spoke with other Weber State students about their frustrating experiences. Well, if I get here early enough, I can find at least one parking spot. But if not, it's always, you know, a competition with at least three other people to get one spot. I don't get parking passes. I had one last semester, and I felt like I was walking as far as if I parked on Harrison anyways. So I just park on Harrison. Parking's all right at the Davis campus just because it's not as popular, but trying to get any kind of spot up at the main campus is is really hard. It's hard to find parking if you get here later in the day and if you're rushing for class that really sucks. I don't have a car so it doesn't affect me. We need more parking spots because there's not enough. I really, really don't like it. It sucks. Some students were too upset to even speak about it. Competing with others to find parking in time for class is stressful, but receiving a parking ticket after paying for a high price permit is much harder. After the glimpse into the students' frustration about Weber State's parking, I found that students still buy passes and work around it. For Weber State News, I'm Morgan Breezemaster. Parking at Weber does get crazy sometimes. Thanks, Morgan. All right, so this week is spring break. It starts today, people. I'm so excited. I really hope it's good weather, though. Oh, I know, me too. If it's cold, that's not going to be cold. Because I'm staying here. Let's go to Ryan to see if we'll have some good weather this week. Ryan? Well, speaking of spring break, it feels like we're going to have some spring weather, folks. That's right, it's going to be warm. It's going to be warm coming up for the next week. Over the national forecast, we have a high pressure bubble that is actually containing warm temperature in, and it's actually moving towards the north, bringing te warm temperature from the west coast, which is bringing warm, 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 warm temperature for all of us. If we look at the, the uh, local forecast, it is a 
clear sky, blue sunny day for everybody. Let's look at the week, the week forecast. And Friday is going to be 51 with a low of 31 degrees. Saturday is going to be 54, 36 degree low. Sunday will be 61 degrees, folks. That's a nice weekend temperature for all of you people that want to go down and play some golf in the, in the Mesquite, Nevada or something like that. Then you better head on down there and hit it up. And uh, it looks pretty warm for the rest of the week. 56 on Monday, 54 on Tuesday, Wednesday 61, Tuesday at 63, and back to you guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Ryan. Speaking of weather, the sun will begin to come up sooner as you set your clocks one hour ahead this weekend. Daylight savings begins this Sunday, March 11th at 2 a.m. Spring is right around the corner, which can only mean one thing. Graduation is almost here. Spring commencement is April 20th at the D Event Center. And it's and it starts at 8 a.m. For more information, you can go to weeper.edu exactly to find out all you need to know for graduation. In their purple or black caps and gowns to receive their degrees. Some students have spent the better part of a decade here, while other students have spent the usual four years. One thing is for sure, though, everyone is excited. I'm super excited. Oh, my God. Because the real world is beckoning for me. I am so excited. Like, I go into a seizure every time I think about it. I'm yeah. really really excited for graduation. This weekend I am making a paper chain to the countdown of graduation. Whether your degree is in business, criminal justice, communications, or even child development, having a college degree is a dream come true for everyone. It's been a long journey for many and a fantastic journey for most, but there comes a time when we must all join the real world to see how far we can make it on our own. For Weber State News, I'm Kylie Chalk. For more information gradu for, about graduation, be sure to visit weber.edu. Thanks for watching Weber State News. Stay tuned for Spotlight on Sports and Studio 76. I'm Kaylee Connors. And I'm Andrea Peterson. Thanks for watching. Do you have a problem with your friends driving recklessly? With your friends endangering your life? I'm here to tell you that reckless driving is the number one cause of teenage deaths. But with new and improved Slow Down, you don't have to die. He's right. We should slow down. In the real world, there is no spokesperson to prevent reckless driving. There's only you. Speak up. Kim, pay attention. Today on Spotlight on Sports, the men took a tumble in Montana. Pro Day comes to Weber and the Lady Cats basketball team finished the season with a goose egg. All that and more right now on Spotlight on Sports. The Big Sky Conference basketball tournament took a place this weekend in Montana, Missoula, Montana. Weber State News sent a crew of our best to give you the most in-depth coverage of the tournament. Trevor Amicone has a fun look behind the scenes of their trip. All right, so we made it here to Malad, Idaho. We got the Jerry Seinfeld going on, and we just stopped for, for a drink. So uh, this is where we're at right now. So you can eat unhealthily when you're on the road. That's, that's OK. I've decided to. So. Are we there yet? Well, now I have to pee. There's no internet connection in there.
For the entire video, including the signpost Nathan Davis tasting the hottest sauce in Idaho Falls, go to our YouTube channel. Now, once they got to Missoula, there were a couple games to watch. The Wildcats got an ugly win on Tuesday night over Portland State to advance to the conference championship game. Trevor once again has the recap. Here at Dahlberg Arena, it was a tale of two halves for the Wildcats. The first half, Weber State controlled for the most part. In the second half, it was all Montana, outscoring Weber State 54 to 30 in the second half. Weber State led by five at halftime, but it was all Montana in the second frame. Montana could not miss, shooting 73% from three in the second half. And because of that, Montana won today's Big Sky Tournament Championship game and will claim the Big Sky's automatic qualifier for the NCAA Tournament, which they'll find out on Sunday where they go and who they play. We, we, we have achieved our, our number one goal now, and, and that was winning uh, the Tournament Championship to go to the NCAAs. Um, we achieved one of our other goals last week, um, and I'll say this, we're, we're not out of our goals yet. Montana had five players in double digits in this game, and they were led by Kareem Jamar and Matthias Ward, both of whom had 23 points to lead the way for Montana. We didn't shoot as well as we, as we wanted to in the first half, and so we knew getting off to a good start in the second half would be huge, and that's what we did, and that kind of carried the momentum later into the game. And finally, in what may be his last game in the Weber State Purple, Damian Lillard led the Wildcats and all scores with 29 in this one. And he took it over in the second half, but it was too little, too late for Weber State. Yeah, it hurts a lot, man, um, to play on as many good teams as I have here at Weber and for us to fall short um, to them in the championship game two times. Um, the first one was unfortunate, but um, I really had this game on my calendar mark on my calendar because I, I want to pay him back. With the loss, the Wildcats will have to hope for a bid from the NIT, which they'll find out after Selection Sunday. For Weber State Sports and KSL.com, I'm Trevor Amicone. Thanks. Thanks, Trevor. Tough loss for the Cats, but it was a great week for in-depth coverage from the guys in Missoula. It's been a long season for the women's basketball team. I was there to check out all of the action. The Lady Wildcats had a tough time against Montana State Saturday afternoon at the D Event Center. It was the final college game for three seniors, point guard Kayla Moore. Centers Carly Waite and Mikkel Woodfield. We're honored at halftime but the women's team just couldn't pull out a victory. They led in the first half but fell short by 37 to 34 at the break. The Bobcats tallied 14 unanswered points at the beginning of the second half. The Lady Cats could not recover and Weber State had only six players that were able to participate in the game. The Wildcats finished 0-16 in the Big Sky and 2 for 27 overall. And now for some good news. Weber State junior forward Amanda Hughes earned an honorable mention in the Big Sky coaches vote. Hughes averaged 10.2 points and 9.1 rebounds for the Wildcats this year, including a Big Sky Conference single-game record 24 against Northern Arizona on February 11th. She also had a team-best 25 blocks and was season leader in steals with 41. Great story, Kylie. The Lady Cats really are a better team than their record shows. The biggest problem is turnovers. Well, we're all hoping that Coach Ord can put together a winning team for next year. Speaking of winners, have you ever wondered where those great athletes go that have kept us entertained during the football season? Hopefully they move on to the big leagues. Maybe. I had a great time learning about Pro Day. We all would like a shot at getting a good job in our area of study. Athletes take that desire seriously. It's Pro Day at Weber State. Every school across the country has their own Pro Day. So the scouts come in and, and they evaluate our seniors that are leaving, you know, the kids that have a chance to play at the next level. Three Weber State grads, defensive back Marvin Walker, linebacker Nick Webb, and All-American O-line captain J.C. Orem have been working out for several months to prove themselves tough enough to play pro football. Emmett White is a trainer. He works with Marvin Walker. Training is more than just pushing some weight. 
One day we're actually working on you know their bench press, their strength. One day we're actually working on just straight ahead speed. And then one day we're actually working on their actual football mobility. So we divide those up. You know we go you know about three days on, one day off. You know give them that recovery time, and then uh, you know we come back strong three more days. In order to build structure and stamina, there is a key element. We need to make sure they're putting, you know, the right nutrition in their body so their body's going to function how, you know, we want it to. So we need it at its best, its peak performance on his pro day. Walker has a goal. This is just like uh, the ultimate job interview, I would say. The ultimate job interview of making it to the next level, my ultimate goal, which is to be in the NFL. Coach Thomas lines out the day's schedule. They call me and they'll do a series of testing. They want to get their measurements, uh, height, weight, arm span, um, measurement of their hand, how many times they can do 225. Standing brawl jump. <laughs> Vertical jump, uh, the pro agility and the L drill in the 40s. Scientific data gathering plays a role in the decision. These scouts that are here take all the, the recordings back and, and then they'll, they'll evaluate the, the kids from there for how they test today's. We'll keep you updated on the progress of our Weber State contenders for the NFL. This has been Spotlight on Sports. Thanks for joining us. I'm John Capel. And I'm Kylie Chalk. Coming up next on Studio 76, you'll find out who won $500 here on campus and who in Hollywood is engaged. Stay tuned. Always feel like you need an extra hand? Tired of reaching for things, but they're just too far away? Well, now there's Lend a Hand. With its revolutionary gold plating and high-class phalanges, you'll never want to let Lend a Hand out of your grasp. Trying to hammer a nail? Lend a Hand. Don't have a fork? Lend a hand. Putting on your socks? Lend a hand. I used to have this problem that whenever I watched a movie and I had a cute girl next to me, I could never hold her hand. I'd get so nervous and my hands would get clammy. But since I found Lend a Hand, all of my problems have been solved. Thanks, Lend a Hand. Lend a Hand can be yours for just $19.95 plus shipping and handling. With Lend a Hand, nothing is out of reach. If you call in the next 10 minutes, we'll include the free Lend a Hand extender. Use the extender for those hard to reach places. Does your back itch? Drop your gum? Can't find a comb? Lend a Hand can help with all of these. You'll be absolutely amazed with the amazing things you can do with the Lend a Hand. With its elegant design and ergonomic structure, it makes the most mundane tasks fun and exciting. But wait. For the first 100 callers, we'll include a second Lend a Hand free. Only $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Call now. Coming up on Studio 76, get ready to put your hero and villain act on when they party it up with Mario. And the inside info on how Snooky's man popped the big question. Plus everything from spring break to uh, break dancing, we have the highlights from Weaver's Got Talent. Welcome to Studio 76. I'm Derek Scouton. And I'm Morgan Breezemaster. So Mario throws a party, soccer hits the streets, and gamers go on a journey. Ben Davis comes from GameTappy.com to bring us the new games for this week. It's time for this week's new video games from KWCR 881 Weber FM and GameTaffy.com. The games from this week focus on the social aspect of gaming, so grab a friend and have some fun. Beginning with Mario Party 9 for the Wii, players get a mix of a board game and a slew of mini games. Playing as your me or many of the Nintendo heroes and villains, and marching across a variety of boards, you will enjoy the glee and frustration of collecting the most stars. Mario Party 9 rolls onto the Wii on March 11th. 
Next, EA brings its FIFA Soccer Physics Engine to the style-based FIFA Street. Performing dribbling tricks feels more fluid than previous street games. However, there is not as much depth as FIFA Soccer, so grab some friends and have a good time. FIFA Street hits the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 on March 13th. If the dynamic controls intimidate you, check out Journey, the easy to pick up and impossible to put down game. With a fresh look at online play, players never have direct contact with other wandering players. Instead, you stumble into other players and communicate through sounds. Journey will be available for digital download on the PlayStation Network on March 13th. For more gaming news, check out the GameTaffy.com show on KWCR 88.1 Weber FM or on iTunes. Hey, for Studio 76, I'm Ben Davis. Thanks, Ben. Honestly, I do not understand video games, Derek. You're a girl. It's, it's natural. Just don't anyway. understand it. So, um, we're going to get really personal here. Um, how much did you pay for your wife's wedding ring? $54,000. Wow. Um, I should probably talk to her and see how she did that. Um, but Snooky's boy toy um, beat you. Kaylee Connors has more on Snooky's engagement. Hello, friends. Our little Snooky has been full of secrets lately. First she admits she's pregnant, and now she's leaked that she's engaged and has been since Valentine's Day. Her fiancé gave her a $55,000 princess cut engagement ring. The ring totals over five carats, including the band and diamond. He proposed in the Hoboken's W Hotel. He took his lady out on the hotel's balcony and said, quote, I bought us a gift for Valentine's Day. It doesn't fit me, but it will fit you for the next 50 years, end quote. He then popped out the ring and the question. Moving on from romance to style, I guess it's true what they say, that you can tell a lot about a person from what they wear. This is especially the case for Miss Taylor Swift. Based on what she wore for her latest magazine spread, it's official that she has forgiven Kanye West for his rude interruption at the 2009 MTV Awards. Taylor wore a shirt that Kanye West designed himself for his fashion line. Taylor's reps and the magazine aren't dishing any deets about why they made the decision to wear the shirt, but most are saying it's because that hatchet is buried. And Ashley Olsen will never appear in the acting world again. Ashley said she used to love to be the center of attention, but now she prefers to be behind the scenes. She also admits she doesn't feel like she has a pretty face and has no desire to enter into another acting gig. Instead, she wants to focus on becoming a well-known clothing designer. And now it's back to you, Derek and Morgan. Why Ashley thinks her face isn't pretty is kind of beyond me. I can kind of see it, but I don't you know. You just don't know Hollywood. I know. Well, I didn't really spend $5,400,000 or whatever on the <laughs> ring. My wife's was much cheaper. I, I meant more economy. But $500 was up for grabs in the Weaver's Got Talent contest held last Friday. Awesome. Well, the talent ranged from singing to comedy to flipping over judges. Let's check out a bit what went on. There where the pavement heat doesn't burn my feet and I can walk alone to a moonlit street. Sitting at the top of the four seasons, chilling. Put up your dues, let's get down to it. Hammer with your best shot. similar hobbies here in Ogden. We have like skateboarders and like, you know, and like snowboarders and meth. You the real ones still stay here. I drew my line across the sand.
walk with me. Plus if I had a clutch on a magnum. Winner of Weaver's Got Talent. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jesse Sykes. To watch the whole show, go to WeberStateNews.org. So Weber State classes are considering using iPads versus textbooks. Yeah. Did you know that? So it's going to be kind of cool. It's going to be a newfangled idea. Uh, Jana Hull grabs some student opinions on how that might go. iPads, they're just a little too technologically advanced for uh, law students, although we are in a new age of technology. It takes away from the effectiveness of a you know, writing down notes in, on, on a pad or, or reading an actual physical textbook. Yeah. I like textbooks because, you know, they're physical. They have a, like a book smell to it and it's just better than technology. Yeah, I think the iPads are more of a distraction. There's more things to do on them. And um, I don't like the light in my face. I would rather have like a page that I can physically mark and look at. And iPads because I've heard on these iPad textbooks, there's graphics and videos that can be put into it. So you can click on it and watch a video, whereas in a textbook, you wouldn't be able to do that. I would prefer to use a textbook just because I like paper. Like I have an iPad at home. It would be easier to use iPads because it's only a one-time cost and um, they're easier to carry around. Uh, my opinion would be that I would use a iPad just because it's a little easier to carry around. You've got your, you can get your textbooks online and take notes, so it makes it easier to go back and forth, and it just, it's less clutter. Currently, there are three classes that don't use textbooks, but online articles from the library database. iPads are provided for those classes. Awesome. I want a free iPad. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. I want to take those classes, too. <laughs> yeah, just get me in those classes. I'm good. All right, well, thanks for joining us today. Uh, it's been an awesome show. It's been our pleasure, and be sure to become a fan of Weber State News, Spotlight on Sports, and Studio 76 on Facebook. And check out all of our shows on www.weberstatenews.org. Have a great, we great weekend, and party it up for spring break. See ya. There's a place, not so far away, a place where you don't have to keep the volume down. You'll find all sorts of creatures in this place without have to. The silly you, the proud you, you may even meet the curious you. It's me. You! 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 Ask your parents to take you to this not so far away place. Come to the forest, where the other you lives. But first, stop by discovertheforest.org.